Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at Aldi for our weekly shopping trip. Now this is Thanksgiving week, so we are going to be picking up a few extra items for that. And then also on Saturday is my son's birthday, so we will be picking up things to make his cake. So as usual, we will take you inside with us and get everything that we need today. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. Should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Ooh, I live it. That's my tune, to do to do Ooh, I love it. Crank it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it up, turn it up on a higher level. Turn it up, turn it up. We got this. Turn it up, turn. We just got back from Aldi, but before we get into the haul, I will go ahead and share our weekly meal plan with y'all. So on Monday, we are having burrito bowls. Tuesday will be barbecue chicken sandwiches. Wednesday will be chicken quesadillas. Thursday is Thanksgiving, of course. Friday will be leftovers. Saturday is pasta. And Sunday will be turkey and veggie soup. So if there are any of those recipes that y'all would be interested in seeing, let me know in the comments down below and I will be taking the most popular requests and making videos from those. So let's go ahead and get on into the haul. So the first thing I picked up is just this bag of Roma tomatoes. I got this pretty much for the burrito bowls tonight and I also will be using them on salads and things like that during the week. I also got this stuffing for Thanksgiving. I've gotten this kind from Aldi before, I think it was just last year, and I really liked it. You do have to add in like your own celery and onions and things like that but it's really, really delicious, so I really like getting this one from Aldi. And you know I have to get some brioche items, so I haven't seen these there before. This is like a specialty like holiday or seasonal item, and so these are just some brioche dinner rolls, but I wanted to go ahead and get these for our Thanksgiving dinner. I also got more of the brioche buns. We get these for our barbecue chicken sandwiches, and I know that we just had this last week, but honestly, my family loves it, and it's super convenient and quick and easy. I know that this week is going to be a super busy week for us, so I'm all about like the easy dinners. I also picked up this marinara pasta sauce. It's organic. It seemed like it was a pretty good deal, so this is a first time buy for me, but I figured I would just try it out. My son Liam's birthday is on Saturday and his very favorite meal is pasta. And so I figured I would just make something quick and easy because I know it's going to be a busy day, but I will give him his very favorite food. I also picked up some more of the oven roasted chicken breasts. We just like to put these on sandwiches. And as I said, I know this is going to be a busy week, so we will probably be having sandwiches for lunches a lot this week. I picked up two containers of rosemary. This is one of my very, very favorite herbs to use or like dried herbs. I use it on my potatoes and so I will be using it with my turkey this week for Thanksgiving and also my mashed potatoes. 
and I like to pick up our spices from Aldi because they are just really inexpensive, I feel, and they're pretty good quality. They have these rosemary ones during the holidays, and so I'll pick up a couple so that'll last me like a lot of the year. I also picked up some more frozen green beans. This will be for our green bean casserole on Thanksgiving. Also to go in our green bean casserole, I picked up one can of the cream of mushroom soup. I also picked up some fresh cranberries to make some homemade cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. I'm not really a huge fan of jarred or canned cranberry sauce, but I absolutely love, love, love fresh cranberry sauce, like homemade cranberry sauce. And if you are, have not tried it before, definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested in the recipe. It is so, so easy to make and super delicious. It's totally worth like the extra five minutes of work. I also picked up some French fried onions to put onto our green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. If you watch my Aldi hauls, which I will always link in the description box below, you know that I love, love these mini cucumbers. I will dip them in buffalo sauce and have them for a snack. They are so, so yummy. If you like little spicy food like that, definitely try it out. It's delicious. I also picked up a pack of these whole wheat tortillas. We really like getting these for like burritos or quesadillas. They're just nice and convenient and they're super yummy. I picked up some more celery this week. I am going to be using this in our stuffing for Thanksgiving and also I will be using this in our veggie turkey soup this weekend. I don't really have a recipe for it, but I'm sure it will turn out good. We're just going to be using the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving and putting that into like kind of like a chicken noodle soup kind of thing, but with turkey and veggies. I also picked up this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is by far my favorite barbecue sauce I have ever gotten before at the store. It's so delicious and this is pretty much like the only barbecue sauce that we ever use anymore. But we will be using this of course for our barbecue chicken sandwiches. And I picked up two bunches of bananas because as you know we love snacking on these and we love making banana ice cream with them, putting them in our smoothies. Just we go through a lot of bananas in our house. And for those of you who saw the banana ice cream recipe, which I will link down below because y'all have been asking for that for a long time. Let me know if you've ended up trying it because we would love to hear how you liked it or if you make your own banana ice cream, what kind of flavors you do because we just love banana ice cream in this house so you don't have to feel guilty about it. So if you guys have any other recipes for that, let me know in the comments below because I would always love to try new ones. So every year I make my kids birthday cakes and I always kind of get a little bit extra just to make sure that I'll have enough stuff and I don't have to run out the night of like getting extra ingredients. So I picked up three things of powdered sugar. One to make the frosting for it and two because I also do like a fondant, like a homemade fondant on it. For the fondant I need some marshmallows so I got two packs of marshmallows. This week the halo oranges were on sale for $2.49. I was super stoked. I almost wanted to pick up another bag just because that's such a good deal but I only went ahead and picked up one just because I didn't want them to go bad. And they also had these Granny Smith apples. This is a three pound bag and they were on sale for $1.99. We do normally get the Gala apples, but because these were on such a good deal, we just went ahead and got the Granny Smith. I also picked up a bag of chips. Everyone will be home most of the week. And so I wanted to make sure that we had like a little bit of snacking food like this to go around. And so I went ahead and just picked up one bag of the sour cream and onion chips. And as usual, I picked up three more containers of the vanilla almond milk. You know my kids love this stuff and we go through it every week. Now the last three items that I got were not really grocery grocery items and so they were kind of on my list because I had seen the flyer last week but I'm not really considering them in my grocery budget this week but I will still go ahead and show you what they are. So the first one is this popcorn tin. It's just like the regular size popcorn tin that you'll see at other stores but it's only $3.99 at Aldi and they had I think just two different like designs on them. There may have been a third one, but I think it was just the two, but they're so cute and they're only $3.99 instead of like the $5 or $6 that they are at the other stores. So definitely check them out. I'm guessing they're going to go quick. So if you want some, definitely pick them up early. These have the caramel corn, butter popcorn, and the white cheddar. Something else I pick up every single year is a gingerbread house kit and Aldi has them for $6.99 this year. So it's a super good deal for a pre-made gingerbread house kit. And this one just looked really fun and cute. So I'm excited to try that. I know my kids will be really excited and want to do that right away. So I am in love with this pillow, you guys. They had a few different prints there, but this was by far my very favorite. I just feel like it's so classy and it will match the red pillow that I had got from Target, from the Target Dollar Spot recently. I am so excited about this. I think there were a couple left, but definitely go check these out because if you need one, I'm sure they're gonna go quick. They're so, so cute. Okay, this is a 17 by 17 inch pillow and it's just, it feels like it's really high quality. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like actually stitched on there. 
So it just seems like it's going to hold up. I'm sure we'll get like several years out of this pillow. So I'm super excited about it. So today we spent $69.54. So we were still within like our normal grocery budget, but like I said, I got several items that aren't really like considered in my grocery budget. So considering that I got those extra things, I feel like we were pretty, pretty good on our budget today, like a little under budget actually, but I was super excited that we got everything we did and I'm excited that we were able to shop from our pantry a lot this week. I hope you all enjoy this video. Definitely subscribe down below if you are not already. And I would love for you to follow me on Instagram as well so we can connect there too. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoy that time to spend with your family and friends. And I will see you in my next one.